This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so I hope you all had a great weekend. And I hope that a lot of you will end up watching some of the fights that I uploaded yesterday on Sunday that I recorded over the weekend. Okay, some very good fights in there. Please go check them out. I appreciate it. Now, I don't particularly want to be doing videos on the whole Ukraine and Russia situation, the conflict, because obviously I'm not a political correspondent. Um, I would know very little to nothing compared to what most people would do. And I don't like talking about things that I know little to nothing about. But of course, it is kind of somewhat boxing related and how it may affect the landscape of boxing, certainly when it comes to Russian and Ukrainian boxers and that's what moves us into this particular video now i uploaded a video what two three days ago where i said that alexander usik he's now in ukraine and has enlisted to defend his country ukraine against russia vladimir klitschko has also done that so has um vitali klitschko okay all, all professional boxers former professional boxers and of course vitali klitschko is the mayor of kiev vasil lomachenko when i uploaded that video was in greece Quite why he was in Greece, we don't know. We can speculate. We can say, well, it was his birthday. It was a birthday gift. He had already pre-booked a holiday, whatever else it may be. We can say all that in hindsight. But even now and over the last several hours, the views on that particular video have gone up by an extra 10,000. And a lot of people are there, firstly, to let me know that Lomachenko is back in Ukraine. So thank you very much. But a lot of people are there crying. It's fake news. Why are you saying that Lomachenko's in Ukraine? He's out there on the front. He's fighting for his life. He's defending his country. Okay, that's cool. That's brilliant. Great. He's now back in Ukraine. But he wasn't when I did that video. But I want to have his baby. Listen, I like Lomachenko as much as anyone, okay? I'm a big fan of Lomachenko. What he's achieved in boxing in such a very short space of time and that as well is phenomenal. He's a pound for pound fighter. Okay, but when I did that video, he was in Ukraine. Um, sorry, he wasn't in Ukraine. He was in Greece. You can't change the facts as much as you, as much as you don't like it. And it's all, in, it's all very well in hindsight now, two or three days later. Again, why are people not looking at the date as to when a video was uploaded before you drop a comment acting like I've literally just uploaded it? No, it was two or three days ago I uploaded that, when he was in Greece. And I did say in that previous video that maybe he's, he's going over there on a pre-booked holiday. Maybe he's taking his family over there to keep him safe and he was going to return. This is why I refuse to condemn him. But some people, again, they just don't hear that part of the videos. I don't understand why that is. I never once accused him of being a traitor or a heretic or anything like that. But some of these Lomachenko fans... And their extreme views. I hate you. I'm going to report you for misinformation. Go ahead. Crack on. Two, three days ago, he was in Greece. You may not like it, but he was. But now he's back in Ukraine. He's going to be defending Ukraine. Will he be out on the front with um, Alexander Usyk and the Klitschko brothers? Are any of them out there on the front? We don't know. Now, I do have to ask, though, why is Lomachenko dressed in a uniform that's quite clearly three sizes too big? I mean, I, I mean the poor bugger is... He's carrying this gun, his rifle. Listen, I'm not a weapons expert, okay? But he's carrying this thing that the barrel's going to be pretty much dragging on the floor. Listen, I'm sure that uh, the Ukrainian or most armies don't have uniforms for 12-year-old uh, child-sized kind of people, okay? But, hey, regardless, it is kind of funny. That's like, like one of the first things, things I thought of when I seen that picture. Anyway, again, listen, he may well be in Ukraine. He may well have wore that uniform. Maybe he took a photo of, of him wearing that uniform, took it off and went all the way back to Greece. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. But I'm presuming not. Now I'm going to, now I'm going with a narrative that um, Vasil Lomachenko, Alexander Usyk and the Klitschko brothers and many other sports people in boxing, in other sports and civilians in general have enlisted to help Ukraine against the Russian invasion. Now, again, when you add into the fact, again, um, I haven't been watching too much of it because I don't like watching the news because you don't know what misinformation you're getting. But when I went, went into the store the other day, or sorry, sorry yesterday evening, um, my local uh, shop had got TV on and you can just see the headlines coming across that Vladimir Putin has put um, his uh, nuclear arsenal on high alert or something like that. So it looks like uh, he could well be uh, planning, potentially at least, of uh, launching a few nukes. Now, is that true? Who knows? Again, maybe it's just some kind of media propaganda. We don't know. But with that said, you have to give people of Ukraine and, and of course, these uh, four 
boxers who could, who could quite literally just escape Ukraine and never return again. They've got enough money to do so, but they've voluntarily chose to stay and defend their country, not only through the vast Russian army that could well and truly overpower Ukraine, but with the threat of a nuclear nuke dropping on them. So massive credit, massive, massive credit. And as I said in the previous video about Lomachenko, even if he didn't return to Ukraine, who am I to condemn him if he chose not to? Because how do we know what we would do in that particular situation? We don't know. It's all very well saying, no, no, I'll definitely defend my country. Well, until it happens, would you? So, listen, I'm sure most of you would, but some people will be like, yeah, I would. Then when it comes down to it, oh, hell no. So either way, you have to give massive credit to Lomachenko, Usyk, the Klitschko brothers and everybody else involved in defending their country. Now, as I said before, I don't know who's on the side of right and wrong. I don't know enough about it because as I said, I've tried to stay away from the news because I don't want to be fed any, any kind of misinformation that will then twist my mind and go, OK, well, this is what's happening. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe Russia has a genuine reason as to why they're doing what they're doing. In my mind, I'm thinking not. I think Ukraine are the victims in this one. I think that they're, 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 they're potentially the innocent ones. But hey, what do I know? OK, that's not my field. But will this affect Lomachenko getting his... Um, Unified, some will say undisputed, world title shot against Cambosis, George Cambosis Jr. Will this affect the Alexander Usyk Anthony Joshua rematch? Well, we don't know. We don't know how far this crisis is going because it's one thing to say, well, all Lomachenko and Usyk has to do is go somewhere where there isn't any kind of war, do their camp and go have their fight. Well, why would they? Their family, their country is far more important than a, than a boxing match regardless of, of how much they're getting paid, regardless. Certain things are more important, okay? Which is why I did that video about a week or two ago where I said, well, maybe the Usyk and Joshua rematch could be in jeopardy for it. And it could well be. It could well be. I don't care what Eddie Hearn says. It could well be because you don't know how far this cross is, um, is going to go. But anyway, massive props to Fasol Lomachenko, Alexander Usyk, the Klitschko brothers, all other kind of people who could escape Ukraine but have chose not to. Again, I know some people say that if you are between 18 and 60, you're not allowed to leave Ukraine. You have to enlist in the army and all that kind of stuff. Well, when you've got enough money, there's ways around things, okay? Even if there's not, you could always slip under the radar and out you go. People could do that, but they have voluntarily stayed. And you have to give them massive, massive credit. Will they be out there on the front line with the full-time soldiers? I mean, maybe... Maybe yes, maybe no. But again, you know, when you first join the army, you're going to be a private, aren't you? You know, you're going to be like the bottom feeder, okay? So um, are they going to be the bottom feeder or, or, or will they be given special treatment? We don't know. Will they actually see battle? Are they there purely for mor um, morale boosting? Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm doing this video just to let you know, yes, I know Vasil Lomachenko is now in Ukraine. All those who were whittling over the last 24 hours saying that I was putting out misinformation. No, it wasn't. Check when I uploaded that video. Check when Lomachenko went to Ukraine. There's a bit of a time difference in there. Quickly whittling. Congratulations to, well, I say congratulations, probably the wrong word, but big up to Vasil Lomachenko for returning to Ukraine. No idea if he brought his family with him or not or left them in Greece. Hopefully he's left them in Greece. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the news. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you on the next video.